Hey everyone, welcome back. I purchased the DF64V seven months ago and tested it thoroughly. Today I'm sharing my detailed thoughts on this coffee grinder with you. Let's jump in. Let's start with the design. Even though the DF64V and DF64 sound similar, their designs are quite different. The first thing I noticed is how slim the design is compared to the DF64. It has a more premium look with a matte black finish and a wooden lid that go great together. The power button is conveniently placed on the right side. And on the left, you'll find the adjustable RPM dial with a clear LCD display. This setup makes the grinder much easier to use compared to the DF64. The grind setting dial is now fixed on the grinder. You adjust the grind by twisting the bean hopper. This ring can be adjusted separately for calibration. With the DF64, adjusting the dial was a bit of a hassle and the indicator was tough to read. I even had to get a 3D printed dial indicator to keep track of the grind size. The DF64V comes with a built-in anti-popcorn funnel inside the hopper. This means you can use the grinder with or without the bellows and your coffee beans won't jump around as much while grinding. The grind's catch cup sits separately on a wooden base. It's made of metal, unlike the plastic one from the earlier DF64. However, I still prefer the portafilter holder of the DF64 because I don't like the extra step of transferring grinds from the catch cup to the portafilter. It seems the DF64V is designed to be versatile, not just for espresso. The DF64V also introduces some impressive features. A standout upgrade is the adjustable RPM, usually only seen in much pricier espresso grinders. It's incredibly handy for different brewing methods and roasts, and it really affects the flavor of your coffee. I'll get into more detail about this later in the video. I really love the removable magnetic chute. It's not just stylish. Cleaning the grinder is much easier. I wish all my grinders had this feature. Then there's the bellows, a common feature in many single dose grinders. A few presses and it clears out any leftover grinds, significantly reducing retention. Now let's talk about the burr, the heart of any grinder. The DF64V has a 64 millimeter flat burr with diamond light coating or DLC. They said this coating makes your grinder last longer and works better. You can upgrade to SSP burr, but this stock burr works great for both espresso and filter coffee. Together with the adjustable grinding speed, I don't see a need for most people to upgrade. The hopper here is easy to remove. Just twist it counterclockwise and you have direct access to the burr for thorough cleaning. As you can see, the internal structure is quite straightforward, ensuring minimal grind residue is left inside the grinder after use. So, why is the adjustable RPM feature so important? In my tests, I found that different RPMs can change the flavor profile of the same coffee. That's why I suggest playing around with the RPM settings until you hit your sweet spot. Generally, slower speeds lead to fewer finds, resulting in a more even particle size distribution. This uniformity is important, especially for filter coffee. On the other hand, faster speeds produce more finds, which can add complexity and texture to your coffee. This is particularly noticeable for espresso. You will find distinct flavors when dialing in with different RPMs. In contrast, I tended to use the DF64 mainly for espresso because the grinds for pour over is not as uniform as other grinders. But this upgraded DF64V is versatile, suitable for various brewing methods. From fine espresso to a coarser French press, the DF64V nails it. For espresso, the DF64V is fantastic. It's easy to dial in and it produces fine, consistent grounds. The stepless adjustment is a big plus, giving you precise control over your grind size. You can experiment with the RPMs. Personally, my favorite was the shots I made with 1100 to 1400 revolutions per minute. In this range, I found the perfect mix of clarity, complexity, and texture that I love. You can check out my espresso workflow with the DF64V and the espresso quality by clicking the link in the corner. For filter coffee, the grinder keeps up its high performance. The grounds are consistent, contributing to a clean and flavorful brew. When it comes to filter coffee, clarity is my main goal. I grind at 600 RPM for cups that are bright, clear, and full of nuanced flavors. The variable speed control is a real game changer, but it's worth mentioning that it's not always straightforward. Finding the perfect setting takes time, and the results can vary based on the type of bean and roast. But for coffee lovers who enjoy exploring, 
The DF64V is like a playground of possibilities. No grinder is perfect, and this grinder is not flawless. One issue is static. The grinder comes with an RDT bottle to help with this. I do RDT whenever I grind coffee, so it doesn't really bother me. Just sprinkle a bit of water on the beans before grinding can significantly reduce static. But it's something to be aware of. The DF64V seems to produce more static than other grinders I've used. The grounds can stick and scatter, creating a bit of a mess on the counter. Another thing is the lack of a portafilter rest. If you're used to grinding straight into your portafilter, the separate dosing cup might feel a bit awkward. This grinder is pretty quiet when it's on the filter coffee setting with low RPMs. But once you turn it up to 1400 or above for espresso, it gets pretty loud and annoying. Thankfully, it grinds fast, so the noise doesn't last too long. Lastly, many users complained the stalling issue at lower RPMs, especially with lighter roasts, which are usually denser. It's not a problem for everyone, but if you love light roasted beans, keep this in mind. To avoid this, it's a good idea to use a hot start with the burrs spinning before you dose the coffee. This grinder definitely brings a lot to the table. It's got a sleek design, delivers impressive performance, and the adjustable speed feature allows you to really dial in your grind. While it's designed as an all-purpose grinder, I'd recommend it mainly for espresso. It does a decent job with filter coffee too, but if that's your main brew method, there might be more affordable options out there. In summary, if you're in the market for a grinder that packs high-end features without breaking the bank, the DF64V is certainly worth considering. If you found this review helpful and you're enjoying the content, don't forget to hit that like button. It really supports the channel. Thanks for watching.